Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU presses for tight control over news media St Lucia, the next destination for the ECB charge card New EU driving licence, it's more than just an ID card Billions washed away on African mud roads and we successfully test a new live video streaming feature. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. The European Union has announced that it wants tight press regulation demanding that Brussels is given control over national media. This article digs into the desire by the state to take control of the national news media. History should teach us the real intent of this legislation, and I quote, He who controls the medium controls the message. He who controls the message controls the masses. Paul Joseph Goebbels. ka -ching! I said yesterday that Germany was repatriating her gold so that it could be used to counterbalance Mr Draghi's Heidelbergs as he cranks up the EU money printers to warp speed. <laughs> well, not too soon, it seems, as our bureau kleptocrats are off on a spending spree in St Lucia. This article covers the details of EU funding being provided. No doubt that since the Commission imploded the Greek economy, the pontificating politparliamentarians have a preference for the West Indies perhaps in another effort to avoid the unseemly street beggars and homeless families in Athens. ID cards for all. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the EU driving licence came into force on January the 19th. This article has the details of the new legislation, but I found one point very interesting. Movement between countries is enabled thanks to a European electronic data exchange system. Now, I wonder how that ties in with the cloud compute strategy and other data control legislation. I'll ask our researchers to investigate. Now, this is a fabulous article. Our balmy brainiacs in Brussels spent 7.4 billion euros up to 2011 on roads in Africa, which promptly fell apart or were washed away by seasonal rains. Look at the picture. <laughs> Now here's a challenge for our viewers. Can you find out what the annual trade tariff and quota takes are that get imposed on African nations trying to sell their produce into the EU? Now if someone can email us with the details of this, we'll have our researchers look at what the funding spend from the EU on Africa is and see if there's a correlation. Yesterday evening we ran our first live and interactive interview session, streaming live video directly to the front page of theunit.com. Using a web video feature from Google+, I was able to conduct a special short notice interview with Trevor Coleman, MEP, to discuss the referendum announcement made by David Cameron. With this cutting edge technology, we are going to be able to bring you closer to the action. Using Google Plus Hangouts, we are able to conduct interviews with key people and more importantly, we're able to connect you directly into those shows in two ways. Either as a live and interactive guest where you can see, hear, speak and listen with several other guests, our interviewer and the presenter, that's me, or method two, by watching like a live TV show, either via our website or our Google Plus page. You'll need to be following the unit on Google+, and I have provided links for that below. You'll probably want to find out more about this amazing service from Google, and I have provided a link to their Google Plus information page. Thus, without further ado, today in our video library we have our first special live and interactive show, The Unit Hangout Live Episode 1, an interview with Trevor Coleman, MEP. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the EUnit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. 
You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.